Is that a new dog? No, it's a staccato. It's a great gun. It's beautiful. Thank you. What's your dog's name? Staccato. He's beautiful. Thank you. He's a hell of a dog. But did you know here in New Mexico, where we're pretending to be right now, you're not allowed to have guns anymore? Disarming citizens? What are you talking about? The right to bear arms is a constitutional right that affords us the opportunity to protect ourselves from a tyrannical government. Well, the governor of New Mexico signed an emergency order banning guns. We'll say no more. <clears throat> I'm on board. You are? I thought you'd be a little more resistant to it. Well, normally you'd be right because I do see the right to own firearms as an inalienable right because it's an inalienable right. I don't know what inalienable means. <laughs> Me either, but it seems like the right place to use that word. I inalienably agree with you. So the inalienable right to own firearms is written into the US Constitution so you can protect you and your family. And the founding fathers who lived most of their lives being ruled over by a tyrannical government risked their lives so they could establish the US's independence so they could live as free sovereign people. And they were willing to risk their lives fighting the tyrannical government of England because they knew there were worse things than death. One of them being living on your knees with no freedom being ruled over by a tyrannical government. So normally I'm all for gun ownership as I see it as a necessary element of maintaining freedom. But, but what? But the exception is when a tyrannical government demands that you obediently surrender your right to defend yourself against a tyrannical government, then I don't think gun ownership should be a right. I think people in North Korea would agree. Because the tyrannical government probably has a good reason for revoking your constitutional right. But what if they told you their reason for taking away your gun rights and it sounded kind of good on paper, but they were just lying to you? and they secretly had an ulterior agenda for why they're taking away your gun rights. A tyrannical government wouldn't do that. They wouldn't? No. A tyrannical government might be willing to strip people of their health, happiness, and human rights, enable child sex trafficking, and kill people, but they wouldn't lie to you. That's a good point. Yeah, there's no way they could live with that on their conscience. Yeah, that would be too much. Like if they did lie, then they might feel like a really heavy sense of guilt when they're doing other parts of their job. Like ordering their citizens to inject themselves with something that they know is gonna cause massive health problems and deaths in a noticeable number of people. Yeah, there's no way they'd be willing to subject themselves to feeling that awful sense of guilt. Therefore, I automatically believe the New Mexico governor's publicly stated reasons for why she revoked the gun rights of her citizens that are never supposed to be revoked. You have really thought this through. Yeah. What was her publicly stated reason? Emergency health crisis. Ah, it's always about health, isn't it? Yeah, I guess getting shot is a public health emergency. I assume it has something to do with COVID. For sure. Like how that deadly virus is killing 0.02% of people who have at least two comorbidities. And people became desperate to kill this thing before statistically speaking, it probably wouldn't kill them. So they turned to using guns against the virus. Seems like a valid medical treatment. And like, cause the virus is inside the body. When people started trying to shoot the virus, they would accidentally shoot themselves. So you gotta ban guns in response to the exactly. public health emergency. I also get curious. In New Mexico, a significantly higher number of people die in car accidents than they do through gun violence. Is that because people are trying to run over COVID with their cars? No, it turns out just a lot of women drive in New Mexico. Frightening. So because a lot more people die in car accidents, I just wonder, will the governor ban cars? Because by all accounts, it's a much larger public health emergency than guns are. Dude, I sure hope she does. But here's the question. Would criminals who are using cars to commit crimes obey the car ban law? Definitely not, they're criminals. Like if a criminal's using a car to drive over to his ex-girlfriend's house to kill her because he found out she was cheating on him with my brother throughout our entire relationship, is this something you did? There's no way he'd obey a law to not drive a car, a much lesser crime, while he's going to commit the high crime of murder. Then would this gun ban law just affect law-abiding citizens, actually leaving them defenseless against criminals who are not willing to obey the gun ban law? No, it'd be different with guns. Possessing a gun being a crime, 
That's the one law criminals will obey. As long as we don't use any logic or talk about this any further, that makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, makes sense to me. By the way, you can tell he's gonna be a big dog because he's got big paws. I hate it when people say that. Hi, do you like being alive? I like it. I mean, it was certainly better before the globalists threw their whole pandemic at us, but all things considered, it's not bad. It's better than being dead. I like being alive. And how much do you trust doctors and hospitals right now? Yeah, same for me. That's where the wellness company's emergency medical kit comes in. Awake doctors like Dr. Peter McCullough started the wellness company to create real change in healthcare. And part of that change is making sure you get to take control of your health. They offer a wide variety of services like telehealth and naturally formulated supplements to help you with lingering effects of you know what? And most recently, they launched the Emergency Medical Kit, which contains eight potentially life-saving medications that you might want to have on hand, just like I do. And I'll tell you, some of these medications are hard to get for devious reasons, and over the past few years, I've taken them when I've gotten sick. Whether it be natural disasters, supply chain issues, medical emergencies, or the apocalypse, you can rest assured knowing you have antibiotics, antivirals, and antiparasitics on hand to keep you and your family safe. And you might be saying, well, I'm not a doctor, how would I know what to take? Well, luckily, the kit comes with a medication guidebook telling you exactly what to take and when. So if you want to be prepared, Prepared, just go to twc.health slash awaken to get your kit today. And while you're there, be sure to use the discount code AWAKEN for 15% off. The emergency medical kits are only available in the USA. So if you're American, go here, get yours today.